how does somebody know that they're good in mathematics okay at school yeah. and often they don't know mm. sometimes when children are very young they're mm. good at working with numbers mm. but often that doesn't develop early sometimes okay. it develops early and children go on to mm. become very good at mathematics mm. and you can see this mm. sometimes they don't know until they get to university that they really are good at mathematics they think I can, you can spend all this I can spend a little time and then they get to university mm. and then they suddenly discover wait a minute I like this mm. and they get a lot better mm. so certainly you can have students who are at university who are extremely good who have not been at the International Maths and oh. this happens yeah. it's not necessary because it may be that their development is a bit late yes, okay. you know even at school mm. physical development is at different rates mm. and you can develop more quickly mm. uh, and if you if you grow up very quickly at school and you're big and strong mm. you know then you'll do well in sport oh, okay. but then yeah. when you get to university you stay the same size mm. and all the other kids catch up oh. so it doesn't mean if you are battling with maths mm. at school it may it doesn't mean that you can't achieve later on it may be that you develop differently oh, you do and in fact it's well known that girls develop more quickly than boys as teenagers mm. and then boys catch up there so girls and boys differ in the way they're developing mm -hmm. mathematics girls mature earlier mm -hmm. and boys then catch up later okay I get your point so at school um, you think what what I want to do mm. at you and often kids don't know they like mm. mathematics they like physics, they like chemistry, or they like business. So if they can get to university, they will then discover, oh, I thought I liked chemistry, but in fact I like yes. mathematics more. Oh, I thought I liked business, yes. but in fact yeah. this mathematics is really good. Mm. Or other way around. Yeah. Or they decide, I was doing mathematics, but I really want to be an engineer. Okay. And so it doesn't mean that when you leave school you know what your career is oh yeah I get the point and okay. I can quote my example okay let me just ask yeah. this question before you move on which means okay is it possible also that there are some students that are very good in mathematics in high school that when it comes to university oh if they're very good at mathematics high school, they, they will carry on being good they will, they will yes. carry on being good yeah, yes okay. that, that will usually happen unless they lose interest and, and go off and do something else yes uh, we've had students who are very good in mathematics mm. and they go on and do biochemistry. Mm. But educators, how can educators help their students? I mean, does, is, is it only the student's job to, um, to read this? Can educators help in some way? Assistance? Right. Now, that book was in fact written originally by a student. He was a student and he went around to Athlone schools, which is Cape, schools on the Cape Flats here, mm. and he presented a workshop. Mm. Once a week he did a program with them and at the end of the eight weeks he produced that book. So this consists of eight workshop programs that he did. So with this book a teacher could mount uh, programs for their high schools, mm. for their kids, for how to solve problems for mm. mass competitions. Okay. It provides the background, it provides the ideas, it gives them insights into the sorts of things that get asked in mass competitions mm. which are school maths but they're often asked in a slightly different way okay. um, school exams are very predictable mm. question one quadratic equations mm. question two uh, series oh. question three something mm. and it's very very predictable okay in math competitions it's not predictable okay can not predict it it different but you've got to think every time. It's not just a matter of mm -hmm. saying, oh yes, I know how to do that one um, I, because I've seen a model mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. It's different. Okay. Well, let's change the shift. I want you to talk. I, 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 I hear your well-known uh, mathematics examiner. I mean, people are using mathematics mm -hmm. Tell us about the uh, European mathematics examiner. Exam? Well, you mean nationally? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, I haven't. Uh, at one time, mm -hmm. some time ago, I was moderator for the what was then called the Joint Matriculation Board, mm -hmm. which meant I oversaw the matriculation papers mm -hmm. of uh, uh, the national examinations. Yes. At that time, if you were, this is before your time, mm -hmm. because <laughs> there were, goodness knows, how many ed education departments were there? Ah. There, was, there was about 10 education departments. Oh. 
you had four provinces, mm. then you had nationally a joint matriculation board, then coloured Indian, white and black. Mm. So there were ten educators. And so we got all these papers and mm. I was working on that. But that I didn't do that for very long. Okay. Um, and uh, I've been far more interested not in exams, but I've been looking at issues like uh, teacher programs, what can be done about teachers, okay. or what can be done about school textbooks, mm. things like I, that. I have to ask this question. Uh, the, 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 the mathematics that we have in high schools, uh, how does it differ from the mathematics that uh, is applied in uh, um, uh, the International Mathematics Olympiad? Well, the International Maths Olympiad is much, much more difficult. Okay. Um, here are the problems from this year's Maths Olympiad that I'm mm -hmm. going to be publishing data okay. uh, next month. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that there's just six problems. Mm -hmm. And anybody with uh, knowledge of school mathematics can read them and see, oh yes, it's, uh, this is geometry, mm -hmm. and it's about triangles, mm -hmm. and it's about angles, mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, they're very difficult. Uh, how much more difficult? Mm -hmm. uh, if you think about uh, a school exam, mm. 200 marks mm. in 180 minutes, okay, in that's about one mark a minute. When you're writing a school exam, it's one mark a minute. Mm. And your typical questions are five marks. Mm. So a typical school exam question, you're expected to do in five, ten minutes. Okay. Five minutes, ten minutes at most. Mm. Every exam question must be doable by a student who is reasonably good in at most 10 minutes. Mm. So it's a 5-10 minute question. Okay. And then here? here? Here we've got three three problems. How long for three problems? Oh, no. Four and a half hours. Four. One and a half hours per problem. 90 minutes per problem. Oh. Okay. School, 10 minutes per problem. Okay. International Maths <laughs> Olympiad, you're expected to spend 90 minutes yes. per problem. So. How much harder is that? Nine times harder. Ah, no, I can see that. I can see that. So it's going to be much. It's much harder. Yes, it's much harder. Now, the fact is that if you presented these problems to the anybody at high school, mm. they would not do very well at all. So when you're saying these problems are one and a half hour problem, how yeah. long does it take I mean, to to finish out the whole? Well, it's, this is on day one. Three problems, four and a half hours. They start at nine o'clock in the morning. Mm. They end at one thirty. Mm. The next day they start at 9 o'clock and they end at 1.30. Mm. So they write those six problems. It's mm. very unusual mm. for anybody to get full marks. Uh, this year I think there were three students who got full marks out of the 565 who mm. took part. Okay. So it's very difficult. Um, I would also like to, to ask you this question. Uh, the work of your, your, your observer in the uh, IMF uh, so what is your work on? What does your work on? Okay, but now in general an observer will go with the uh, a, a country's team mm. because that person is going to be a team leader the next year. Mm. So you go and observe one year to uh, discover how mm. to be a team leader mm. the next year. Mm. So usually that's what observers do. Now, in my case, it's different. I'm secretary of the International Maths Olympiad, yes, yes. and so I go along mm. because we have meetings of the of the international board, mm. and sometimes I have to run meetings or elections. Mm. Uh, next year, I'll be running an election mm. for the chairman of the Olympiad. Okay. Uh, so I've got to do that as secretary, mm. uh, and during the year. Um, I get a lot of correspondence, in fact I was do dealing with some earlier today, mm. um, from countries that want to take part in the Maths Olympiad. So mm. somebody writes and says, our country doesn't take part in the Maths Olympiad, how do we do this? Okay. Um, and I would write back and say, well this is what you've got to do, uh, this is the procedure, you must contact your local math society, your minister of education, mm. send us a letter, and then you will be invited to send an observer mm. to the International Maths Olympiad. Mm. So this year, for example, at the Olympiad in Germany, mm. there were observers, one from Ivory Coast, mm. uh, one from uh, Senegal. Mm. They were both African countries. They sent observers for the first time. Mm. 
Next year they will send teams. Mm. So the observers went and what's their job? Mm. To look around to find out what's going on. Mm. To judge what they, how they need to preser preserve, mm. to prepare at least their teams. Mm. And when I first went to the International Maths Olympiad in 1991, mm. it was in Sweden, mm. and I went as an observer. Mm. And I met everybody there, and I found out what was happening. Mm. And the next year, I went with a deputy team leader mm. and a team. Okay. And yes. So that's what observers do. Mm. Uh, you have team leaders and deputy team leaders and yeah. teams, mm. then the extra people are observers. Mm. Now, uh, I'm an observer because I'm on the mm. because I'm not a team leader, um, but I'm an observer because I'm on the international board. Okay. So that is my job. Well, I see. Also, when we, I was scrolling through the website, I saw that some other other countries find there are four observers. Some other one. Observer. Yes. Some. Well, for example, you might have noticed that Holland and Kazakhstan had four, three or four observers. Yeah, even the USA, I think. Okay. Well, in the case of Kazakhstan. The Olympiad is being held next year in Kazakhstan, okay. so they send lots of observers mm. to see how to organize it. Okay. The following year it's going to be in, in Holland, mm. and uh, they see how to organize, so they will send lots of observers. Mm. The Americans, the Russians, mm. the Chinese, they are very keen on being very well in the Olympiad. They're mm. always there in the top ten, they always send observers. Mm. They've also got money. Mm. It's quite expensive to send an observer. You've got to, the observer doesn't go for free. Mm. Uh, when you run an Olympiad, the international Olympiad, the leader and the deputy and the team all go for free. Mm. The host country pays everything. Mm. Uh, and if you want to send an observer, you've got to pay. Okay. So the Americans, they're rich. Mm. They send lots of observers. Britain, Germany, uh, they send observers. Uh, but other countries send observers because they hope to host the country, the, the Olympiad, in the next couple of years. Okay, so just to be asked about the It's fears that they tackle in well, the it's, it's these It's these books. These books that we've prepared mm. cover topics, mm. number theory, number theory, uh, pigeonhole principle, okay. inequalities, graph theory, yes. geometry. The, these are the big areas in, in the. the the sort of questions that they ask in the International Maths Olympiad. Mm. They are very difficult questions, very challenging. Um, other countries have special schools mm. where they take the top kids from around the country and they put them in a special school mm. for the last six months of their school career. Mm. And they're training them for the International Maths Olympiad. Okay. So that's why I say it's expensive. It's expensive. Uh, and the question to be asked is, is this worthwhile? Is it worth spending huge amounts of money for doing this? Okay. Well, we're spending not much okay. on, on so this investing in the, the we, we are making an investment. Yeah. We could do more. Uh, okay. The question is how much more money and can we use it effectively? Okay. Because with any, with any question if you're asking, mm -hmm. you ask how much is it going to cost mm -hmm. and is it going to be worth it? Okay. So it's no good saying we're going to do it put a million rands into this um, because you need to know is it going to work and is it worth it. Okay. Maybe it would be better to put a million rands into primary schools or something. Okay, to invest in primary schools so that you can groom them. Yeah. Yeah. When, when they get so level, yeah. so the, the, what, what is being achieved with the international maths mm -hmm. is that South Africa has shown that we can, can get there, we can win medals mm -hmm. uh, and we can come in the uh, ranking where we are competing with countries in Europe, mm -hmm. say Holland, mm -hmm. Belgium, mm -hmm. doing better than them. Yeah, I saw that uh, one of your students uh, got, I think, a silver medal. Yes. In this, in this, this year or last year? No, last year. Last, last year. year. Sort of yes, last year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, how was it? I saw you were observing. You know, you know. Right, well, I'm, uh, I was originally for some years team leader mm -hmm. for the International Maths Olympiad. Okay. And then, um, I, uh, other people, we, we, we moved around a bit, and then uh, in 2000 I was elected Secretary of the International Maths yes, yes, yes. So I go as an observer, mm. but I'm Secretary of the organization, yes. but I always go as an observer with the South African team, yes. so that's my status. Mm. So I'm not directly involved anymore in this whole process that I described, mm. but this is going on in the same way that we set it up, with a program of 
talent search camps, students submitting rounds of problems, working through problems, training, uh, more camps, and then the, finally the international. Okay, what, what advice can you give to students who want to, 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 to be involved in this? Well, uh, if you want to be involved, what you should do is start up with that talent search. And there's, there's, we have got uh, an introductory booklet. Okay. This one, this book, for example, yeah. is for introductory problems. Okay. So it's something that's now being done by the South African Maths Foundation mm -hmm. in Pretoria. But it's a program that I set up originally. Mm -hmm. And it would start like this typically. Uh, a little pamphlet goes out to schools, okay, and simple little problems to solve. Okay. So you solve those problems. You send this in with your answers. It's in our coupons and that okay. also. Okay. And then the details are there, and you then get sent another uh, set of problems. Mm -hmm. So you get sent successive rounds of problems, and as you go, the problems get little harder and harder and you learn a bit more and uh, that way you develop problem solving skills beyond what's needed at school. Okay. So that's the start. Okay. Um, and these come in and then there are several rounds and at the end of the year, so this goes out in um, early in the year, then you, must go, you must start by, the, by May then towards the end of this year there's a selection process and they select about 30 to 50 students to go to a camp at Stellenbosch University okay. um, and at that camp which, which is a week long in December uh, they get lectures, they get tests, they get instruction on problem solving mm. and the best part is that these are the top kids from around the country mm. they're the best from their school and they've never had, they've never met other people who are as good at yes. mathematics as they are. So they meet their counterparts. They meet their counterparts and they are no longer the best and that can be serious. Yeah, so which means they have to. That means they have, and then uh, it's a, an extremely popular camp. Uh, it's uh, because it's just enjoyable. There's a lot of work. They get lectures and tests from 9 to 5 every day and also in the evenings. So the evening activities as well. So they, they put up, uh, uh, there's a very high pressure, no, not high pressure, it's very enjoyable. But after the Stellenbosch camp, it continues with that short list now, going through to April, more stuff, and a camp in April. In April, you select for the International Maths League. Okay. And that then takes pl place in July. Okay, no, I get the point. So, well, well, I, what I want to know also is uh, the, 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 the math digest. How is yeah. it diff Okay, you, you showed me the difference. I, 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 but yeah. There are other, uh, other magazines that are out there that, okay, the same as the school star chess math digest. How is it really that different? Uh, uh, well, that's the only one in South Africa. Mm -hmm. That's the only one in South Africa? Yes. That's there's, no, there, mag there's a, there are other magazines for teachers mm -hmm. in South Africa yes. uh, that Amisa produces. Mm -hmm. but this is the only magazine for high schools. In South Africa, yeah, that only that that, yeah. that, that takes. Well, now there are other magazines, for example, yeah, uh, that I get on exchange. Now this is what is produced in Germany, but of course this is in German, so um, uh, it's no use to most of the kids here. Mm. Um, and so there's that, for example. Then there's this English magazine. Um, there, there's a magazine like this from America. Mental Rises. Uh, which is a very nice magazine. Okay. Um, there are magazines from Holland that I get. Mm -hmm. But. Um